Hello Juxt. A few of you have asked about our tea making process and I figured as a compliment to the end of JuxConf I could finally actually record that for you. So we have all of our implements and ingredients here. If you want to make uh, Indian chai in this sort of um, aggregate recipe that Preeti and I have, it's um, from our friends, uh, our friends Akshay and Arika both have separate chai recipes that we've combined into pretty good chai recipe in my opinion. So you will need two pots. You'll need some sort of strainer for your tea. It doesn't necessarily need to be this big, but this one is awfully convenient. Uh, you will need some sort of tea powder and the cheaper the better. Fancy tea powder does not make good chai, but arguably this is the fanciest chai tea powder you can buy. Tata Gold. Um, it's almost too fancy. It's easy to get it wrong and scald the tea and make everything very bitter. Um, you will need some cinnamon and some lychee, cardamom, um, and you will need some brown sugar of some kind. Uh, if you happen to have jaggery, you can use jaggery, um, but regular brown sugar is almost kind of the nicest happy medium. We're using demerara. Um, and then if you're making this much tea, you'll need something to keep it in once you're done. All right, so first off, we are going to boil. We make a lot of tea in the morning, so we're going to fill this pot right to the top and then we're going to pour that into the larger pot to boil it. We pour into the large <laughs> pot and we set our small pot aside because we're going to use that to pour the tea out later. And then we put this on the biggest burner the stove has, preferably gas if you've got it, and we start to boil. Cinnamon is actually not that easy to find uh, in the West particularly in Canada, but I'm guessing despite all of the East India Company's efforts, uh, you don't get good cinnamon in the UK either. Cinnamon should not make this sound. If it kind of goes like this, um, that's bad cinnamon, it's too dry, and if you bite it, it should taste like sugar, not dust. Which, the reason that it becomes dust cinnamon is because somebody has extracted all the oil, which is the part that you actually want. Um, you can use more cinnamon, so you can take quite a large amount, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't add that much flavor anyway. Next up, we want our lychee, and a lychee, I've decided, uh, really needs to be black. And so if you open it up and you get this kind of, can you see that? Mm -hmm. If you get this sort of brown, orangey brown dried out elaichi inside, I think that deserves to go in the garbage. I asked Kitty, he said they need to be black. These ones are these ones are pretty dark, so we'll consider those good. We'll throw those in. When you pull them out of the pod, you want to feel the oil in them. Like they should feel greasy. Those are, those are pretty dark. They're, they're sticking together, they're kind of oily. That's the sort of a lychee that you're hoping to get. Dark, lumpy, hard, oily lychees. Not dried out, not green. Um, so I usually like to cut off a pretty decent chunk of ginger. Any of the, the skin that looks, whoops. The ginger and cinnamon and the lychee are boiling. Yep. The longer you let it boil, the more delicious ginger flavor you get out of those shreds. Alright, enough. So now on this stove we turn it down to four. 
ish low enough so that it's not a really uh, violent rolling boil because that will scald Tata Gold. One, two, three, four, and a half scoops of Tata Gold. Sometimes that causes a bit of ginger seaweed. Now, we set a timer for five minutes. Ta-da! Our tea is just at a nice simmery kind of rolling boil here. This is the fattiest milk you can possibly buy. And this is the hard part. So we're going to pour milk in the old Reddit meme of my tea is the right color when it's the color of He-Man's skin. That's about right. Sometimes I just give it a little extra for good measure. And then once you've got your milk in there, you want to turn it up to a full boil again. So this part is actually Akshay's advice, to let the milk boil and almost overflow. And we're going to let it boil up to the edge. And then this is why a gas stove is extremely helpful here. <laughs> Otherwise you have to lift the whole pot onto a cold element if you're using an electric stove. I've done it, but it's more of a hassle. Uh, then you let it Simmer back down again, and then you turn it back up to high. And we repeat this three times. So we let our milk boil and froth. This kind of helps the creaminess of the tea, I think. Back down to low. Right, down to a simmer again, and then one last time, up to high. And finally we're turning it off. Pour it through our strainer. So, this is a heavy pot, so sometimes I lean it on the sink a little bit pour it down into the strainer, actually in the sink, because occasionally you'll get a chunk of cinnamon that causes the tea to splash all over the place. I don't drink this much tea every day, but I try to. Next up are sugar. This is where people are most shocked, usually. You're going to use, for this size of pot, one, two, five heaping spoons of sugar. But don't worry, it's brown sugar, so
This is how you close a thermos. Three liters of tea. That's how much tea you need. And there you have it. Fresh cup of tea. The sun's out. Life is good. Got my Samahan mug. Happy Jeff's everybody. <laughs>